Hi again, this is Sammy. Um, so on my last video, I've shown you how anything to the power of zero equals one. So we showed you how B to the zero equals one or any number, B being any number to the power of zero equals one. Also, we know zero to the power of anything is zero. Um, zero to the three just means zero times zero times zero, which gives you zero. Zero to the five is, is zero times zero times zero five times and it still gets zero. But how about zero to the power of zero? What does that equal? Does that equal one or does it equal zero? So which one? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to derive how we could find out zero to the power of what equals zero. Um, So now I'm gonna to try to derive and see if zero to the power of zero equals one or zero to the power of zero equals zero. Based on these two, a lot of students get confused. And we, we, how could we derive? How do we know? Uh, because these things usually we just tell you and you take us for granted and, and you believe what we tell you. But now let's see if we could derive it. So now I, I wrote um, a few numbers here, uh, so one to the power of one, you know, zero to the power of zero, uh, one to the power of one, and this gives me one. And now we're gonna do 0.9. So I'm just gonna take out my calculator here and go 0.9 to the power of 0.9. What do I get? I get 0.9. zero nine five and the decimal continues so by the way so you know what we're doing here if anybody did the first year calculus or even the grade 12 calculus is what we call limit the limit okay um so we're basically trying to approach zero to the power of zero that's what we're trying to do and we see what where we go in with this so now we just continue and we go point, point 0.8 to the power of point 0.8 equals, and we get point 0.83651. Now let's try point 0.7 to the power of point 0.7. That's gonna give us point 0.779. Zero six. Now, as you see here, the numbers seem to be decreasing, like they're going towards zero, or that's what I think. Um, so let's continue doing that and, and see what we're gonna get close to. So 0.6 to the power of 0.6 equals 0.736. So again, the numbers keep on decreasing, 0.736. 0, 0.2, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna try 0.5 to the power of 0.5, and that gives me 0 0.70711. So I'm noticing something here, like the numbers decreasing, but not as fast as they were in here. So here, it seems the decrease is a little bit smaller. So let's try 0 0.4 to the power of 0 0.4, 0 0.4, to the power of 0.4 equals 0 0.639, 0 0.6, sorry, 0 0.69314. So again, yeah, it's decreasing, but it's, uh, it's starting to decrease slower. Now let's go to 0.3 to the power of 0.3. Let's try 0.3. Wow, that gives me 0.6. Nine, oops, point nine, boy, point six, nine, six, eight, rounded up five. So what happened, the numbers here were decreasing, but now they're starting to increase again. So let's try point two. This is supposed to be to the power of point two, you know, because we're trying to do 
a number to the power of the same number. Wow, it's increasing. 0 0.7, 2, 4, 7, 8. You know, find 0.1 to the power of 0.1. What's going on here? Um, Point seven, nine, four, three, three. Wow, it keeps on increasing. So you know what? Let's do half of point one, which is point zero five. So I'm gonna try point zero five to the power of point zero five equals. Now it's going up even again. Point eight six zero eight nine. So you know what, I'm just gonna start um, with, maybe I'm gonna try 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, and maybe 0 0.00001 to the power of 0 0.01, to the power of 0 0.0001, to the power of 0 0.0001, and let's see what we get. Okay, so, 0 0.001 as to the power of 0 0.001. So 0 0.001 to the power of 0 0.001, I'm getting 0 0.993116. Let's try 0 0.001 to the power of Point three zeros one. I'm getting point nine 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 zero seven nine three nine. I'm just writing more decimals here. Now let's try the next thing point zero 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 one to the power of point zero 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 one. And now I'm getting really close, 0 0.9998847774. So now you see what's going on, or you could guess, because now the numbers were increasing, but now they're increasing by a little, but we're getting very close. Sorry, that's a zero point. I'm just gonna, let me, give me a second here. Here. It's point nine 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 eight eight four. So as 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 I say, and it's like the, the numbers as they get smaller and closer to zero, where eventually we're gonna get to the power of zero to the power of zero, which we, we cannot really do in our calculator, um, or we can't really even do it. But we're noticing we're getting very close to one because point nine 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 eight. That's the one right there if you round it up. All right. So now we get to the calculus limit. As x gets close to zero, x to the power of x, the rule it equals one. And that's how we derived it. So, you know, limits basically, you're just trying to get closer to zero here. So x. 0 0.0001 to the power of 0 0.0001, we're getting very close to zero. And as you make the numbers bigger and bigger, you'll notice eventually it becomes one. And that's basically now we know zero to the power of zero equals one and it does not equal zero. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Um, and if you do, hit that like button, please subscribe, share with others so they could benefit the next time Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.